have one son. Yeah, I don't know how you get. Th I don't know how you get through that. How do you do that? What is going on, guys? It is JJ here, back with another Premier League video. Now, today we are going to be taking a look at at one of the three. Premier League Golden Boot winners. It is Pierre Mkabamiye, Sadio Mane, and Mo Salah. Today we're going to be taking a look specifically at Sadio Mane's best skills and goals from the Premier League season in 2019. He's been one of the best players arguably in the Premier League. I still think he's underrated despite the amount of goal contributions and efforts that he has. He's such a good player in the Liverpool system that it makes him one of the best in the world alongside Mo Salah. And I, I don't know, he, he was never even a part of, of the Premier League shortlist because the Premier League players this season, uh, the likes of Hazard, the likes of Reem Sterling, all these wingers were performing so well. But we're going to take a look at, at what makes Sadio Mane one of the best scorers in Africa and one of the three players from Africa to share the Premier League Golden Boot this season. As well guys, you can find the original video just down in the description below. That's such a good move. That is such a good move. My G. Mane, he's just so quick on his feet. Yeah, it's the serving, the serving name on. Have one, son. Yeah, I don't know how you get, I don't know how you get through that. How do you do that? Like, he literally just, it, it's like one of the, it's the jammy goals where he's just like, like fumbling through people left, right, and center. Oh, that Neuer turn though. The turn on Neuer. That's too good. That's way too good. Look at that speed. Even by Juan Bisaka. Juan Bisaka is one of the best right backs in the Premier League, in my opinion, and he just gets ran right by. Oh my. Oh my. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Fulham not gonna Fulham not gonna do anything to him. <laughs> How did that was so quick and that was that was like a really really quick sequence there. Oh Bernardo. This, this, Sadio Mane, I don't know what's more, it, oh, is this against Chelsea? Of course it is, yeah, yeah. Big mad, still big mad about that game, you know? It's just, it could have gone different. Oh, and here's him, here's him to what will be at AFCON. Oh, that nutmeg. Oh. I love that. Like, he doesn't decide to go down and draw a penalty. He just knows he can power right through it and just go all the way. But this is Mane, Mane. I honestly think individually, Mane is probably the best player in Africa. But at the same time, there's... I mean, you can't deny Aubameyang. Aubameyang's nearly 30 and still putting up those goal numbers. Mo Salah, a lot less goal involvements than he had last year. But the fact that he still scored 22 goals is just insane. Uh, but... The other guy, it's, it's like Hakeem Zayat could be up there. You could say Riyad Mahrez as well, but it's tough. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. The man is actually, he's a tank. He is a tank to a degree, like, because he just bulldozes through everyone. He, he just runs through everything. Not only in the Premier League, in the Champions League as well. It just runs right around PSG like it's nothing. And then around Leicester. It's unfair. It's really unfair. Sometimes, he's actually too good sometimes. And working with those, that's one thing as well, is the fullbacks that Liverpool have themselves, they, they provide a really good dimension. So Robertson and Alexander-Arnold, or whether it's Alexander-Arnold or Joe Gomez, they always provide really good depth, and they play so well. Johnny Evans is just hanging on.
That's a hard touch, but still. <laughs> he stole the goal from Mo Salah. I think Mo Salah was offside, but yeah. Oh, that move. And yeah, defensive work as well. Him, I, I think I saw him play his most defensive work against Messi. He knew he had to track back to help. Oh. Right around Ashley Young, no big deal. Easy as you like. Saudi Omane, he's just way too good. I know this is during the summer. Uh, Liverpool versus United during the summer, but my goodness. It's just, it's just unreal. It's just unreal. Juan Bisaka again, having to try and track him down. It's just, that's, that's not allowed. That's not allowed. Uh, but yeah, that is it, guys, for our look at Sadio Mane's 2019 skills and goals. <sighs> Sadio Mane, he, I don't know which of the three in the Golden Boot race probably deserve it more. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang definitely supplies more goals in percentage-wise to Arsenal. They need him a lot more. Uh, but Sadio Mane works so well with Mo Salah. 44 goals between two players. That's, that's awesome. That really is so. And you can see why they nearly won the league. Uh, because they provide a lot of goal contributions between each other. But still, unlucky for that. Um, I'm hoping they all stay healthy so we can see them all at AFCON 2019. You guys need to let me know your thoughts on Sadio Mane's Golden Boot down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace.